Now, the United Nations General Assembly was held in New York last month. During the UNGA meet, leaders from around the world were given a last chance to hash out pressing global actions. But for the son of President of Equatorial Guinea, it was the time to go around and flaunt his luxurious lifestyle when at least 70% of the country's population lives on less than $2 a day. Teodoro Nguema Obiang, who is the vice president of the oil-rich nation, has been a subject of Western sanctions over corruption for the longest time. And with his ultra-luxurious lifestyle, Obiang has now landed himself in another, in another controversy. This after he stayed in a $75,000 a night penthouse when he flew to New York to call for more aid for Africa. Obiang, who goes by the name Teddy, travelled in a private jet to the States, stayed in one of the world's most opulent Mark Hotel. The hotel's two-floor penthouse has five bedrooms, four fireplaces, six bathrooms, a living room that can be converted into a ballroom and a rooftop terrace overlooking Central Park. Visuals and pictures shared by Vice President of his on his social media account showed him strolling around the suite and admiring the views in a light blue suit wearing a large watch. However, during his United Nations address on the 21st of September, the Vice President urged the intergovernmental organization to give Africa priority attention and support the nation by providing developmental funding. Obiang's father, who is also the current president of Equatorial Guinea, came to power in a bloody coup in 1979. Many of his family members have positions in the government, while political opponents have been tortured. Some have disappeared. Obiang is expected to succeed his father as president. Now, for more on this, our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report from the building where the Equatorial Guinea's vice president stayed during the UNGA. Listen in. The son of Equatorial Guinea's dictator, who also happens to be the country's vice president, stayed at one of the most exclusive hotels in Manhattan's Upper East Side neighborhood last month when he was in New York to address the United Nations General Assembly. And while he called on world leaders to provide more aid and pay more attention to Africa, he also documented his trip on his Instagram page, sharing with his 156,000 followers videos of his penthouse suite here at the mark this caused many on instagram to tell him to go back home where 70 percent of the country's population is languishing in poverty living on under two dollars a day while more than half of the population don't have access to clean drinking water also back home the vice president is caught up in scandals regarding corruption and alleged squandering of some 100 million dollars of the country's wealth Susan Tehwani reporting from New York for We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.